The three-day Hong Kong Rugby Sevens came to an end this evening. Some spectators who previously held Amber Code status were allowed to enter the Hong Kong Stadium today after they received a blue code this morning. And they were invited by the organisers to enjoy the action from the VIP section. Christy Khan reports. After a three-year hiatus, the Hong Kong Rugby Sevens returned to the city at last. And today was the last day of the tournament. The huge crowd of rugby fans ensured a lively atmosphere as they cheered for their favorite teams at the stadium. And the South African tourist who was barred from entering the stadium on the first day of tournament because of his amber coat was spotted at one of the VIP seats during the day. He was one of those who received an invitation from organizers to enter the VIP section after Friday's incident. It's understood he would be refunded for missing the first two days. It was bad to wait for the blue, the, the, the blue coat, but we managed, we survived. And I'm here to watch the rugby. Yeah, well, I'm very satisfied. We are very happy and we're just enjoying everything. Because of the anti-COVID measures, the venue's maximum capacity was reduced this time compared to the past years. Empty seats could be seen inside the stadium. But it didn't affect the atmosphere in the venue. The cheering never stopped. Meanwhile, owners of the stadium's food store said they were happy to see the crowds return, adding that business was thriving since day one of the event. And looking forward to having uh, rugby sevens like this. We were closed for three years, but this time is the first time we are actually open for food. I hope they don't close again the Hong Kong Stadium. He added that he hoped the Hong Kong government will implement the Zero Plus Zero scheme soon to bring more tourists back to the city. Christy Khan, TVB News.